baby oil a product made for one major purpose and one purpose only to keep the baby's skin soft but it has never been used on babies maybe two percent of the time most of the time it is used for making the babies mainly it is being used on massages shakalaka boom boom sessions Dwayne johnson and the ladies most of the time but in diddy's case lebron James. now if you're watching this you probably know about the diddy situation when he got arrested a few days ago for a lot of charges that we went through over the past couple of videos and also the feds they said that they found over a thousand bottles of baby oil in diddy's la mansion now if you have 50 baby oils maybe sure it can be fine maybe a hundred but if you have a thousand baby oils that is when the questions are going to rise up none of you have muscles to put put a uh, put uh, baby oil on yourself is everyone getting a massage in the mansion why do you need a thousand baby oils even the people who didn't care about diddy started to pay attention to this whole thing because of the baby oil meme it is all over the place hey mia you better hide your baby oil 50 Cent himself, who's been beefing with Diddy over the past couple of months as well, posted an Instagram story rebranding baby oil to Diddy's oil. Obviously, a lot of people had a lot of questions. Why do you need a thousand baby oils? Even if you go to a corn house, you won't even find a thousand baby oils. What kind of freaky shit is happening behind the scenes and what is legal and what is not legal? That is when the man himself, P. Diddy's lawyer, the man who's been protecting P. Diddy the whole time, saying that Mr. P has been nothing but kind to the world and has been supportive. Uh, he's a loving father, a loving husband, loving everything, respected rapper. He's a family man. How dare you accuse him of these things? Everyone's wrong and we are going to prove in court that he's innocent. I don't know if he's trying to get an invitation from Diddy to join his parties. Maybe he's never been invited and Diddy promised him if you win this case, you'll be invited to every party coming forward. But at this point, he's talking out of his ass and he decided to come forward and address the baby oil situ situation. How do you explain the baby oil and the lubricants? A thousand bottles of baby oil. Uh, I don't think it was a thousand. I think it was a lot. I mean, there's a Costco right down the street. You know, I think... Americans buy in bulk, as we know, um, and you know this is this is consensual adults doing what consensual adults do. You know, we we can't get so puritanical in this country to think that somehow sex is a bad thing because if it was, there'd be no more people. Yes, it is true. Americans do buy in bulk for special occasions like end of the world, but they buy food. They they, they buy food, water, drinks, hydration, nutrients. What the fuck? Last September, I slapped the table so hard the video started playing. But anyways, they buy food, they buy drinks. What the fuck are you gonna do? End of the world. Imagine someone breaks into Diddy's house because you know Diddy died or something, and everyone's dead, and they're trying to survive. Guys, check in the storage to see if there's any food or water. I'm so thirsty. I haven't eaten for three days. Jack, what did you find? Fucking baby oil. There, there's no need for a thousand baby oils, even if you have the biggest parties ever. You know what I mean? Now, as an experienced baby oil user, three years ago, I bought a baby oil bottle this much to try new things, try new experiences. And that shit, after three years, literally, when I moved to this place, it was only like 30% of it gone, even though I was... I'm not gonna share more information. All you gotta know is in three years, only 30% of it went. What the fuck you need? A thousand baby oils. It is extremely shady as shit. Now this lawyer went on multiple interviews and he said the same thing. Oh, Americans buy it in bulk. Did he just live near Costco, Costco, Costco here, Costco there. He has a big house. He buys in bulk. You know, I think they have Costco's in every place where he has a home. And Costco decided to come shut up. A spokesperson for Costco tells TMZ none of the company's US locations carry baby oil. Even though Diddy's attorney Mark Agnifilo told us the rap mogul might have bought the item in bulk at members only warehouse retailer, the proof is in the pudding. So to speak, a quick search of stores site shows there's nothing akin to baby oil offered at Costco. There is, however, hair cleansing gel sold for babies, but it'd be sketch to confuse that with baby oil. Oh, and nothing pops up when you look body oil either, which could be mistaken for baby oil. For good measure, we also took a peek at Sam's Club website because it, it's entirely possible someone mixed up for two retailers. Yet, like Costco, there's no baby oil for sale 
either. So Mr. Lawyer, say your goodbyes to all your hopes and dreams to being part of Diddy's party, or maybe you were part of it and you enjoyed it so much and that the fact that you didn't want to let go of it or maybe it's the fact that it can be the fact that you know because it's not close to him for him to get baby at the same time no it doesn't mean the thing is if you're that rich you can always send someone to go buy it for you and bring it like 10 20 50 pieces whenever you're having a party because as we know for like diddy's white parties there's millions all over the place it's just a lot of hollywood stars but behind the closed doors there's a lot of shady shit which we talked about happens as well and there's an update about the last time we talked about this uh the female who came forward and brought a lawsuit against diddy and his uh head of security back in the 2000 early 2000s for um touching without consent situation this is what she had to say the internal pain after being sexually assaulted has been incredibly deep and hard to put into words. It goes beyond just physical harm caused by and during the assault. It's a pain that reaches into your very core. Not only she gave an interview, another worker for Diddy turned over alleged Diddy free cough tape, which according to TMZ, she handed it to a federal prosecutor. The male Schmex worker met with the feds on Wednesday. New York signed a Profier agreement which allows him to speak for to federal investigators without fear of prosecution. He went off and he said what did he like, what did he like to do, what kind of uh, illegal sugar he liked to add during his sessions. Which you're probably telling yourself it's not really, you know, illegal, they're just doing freaky stuff. But one thing you need to realize that he's being charged with trafficking. So he's bringing woman or men whatever they're into and he's being charged which allegedly that you know he's trafficking them through celebrities giving it to them or sometimes you know taking it for the, for themselves uh, himself as well and he's also being charged with rec racketeering which is giving it to the celebrities and then filming them and then blackmailing them later on a lot of illegal stuff the shakalaka boom boom sessions itself is not illegal but what he is doing with the shakalaka boom booms it is illegal and also it is being reported that diddy's actually eating in jail he's not eating and you know he's not starving himself because he's afraid to get poisoned he's actually eating his fine according to reports and also according to diddy's attorney he's going to be fighting for his name for his reputation and he's going to be telling his side of the story to everyone and i look very much forward to that but what i look forward to the most is the explanation for a thousand baby oils i already know what it is it's going to be like oh we used to have, we, you know, it's just freaky Hollywood stuff. Nothing illegal happened because that is the major part which he's being charged with. But I hope that I'm wrong and he's going to be giving a different answer to what, what I just said about the baby oil situation. Oh, my dog's skin is very, very dry most of the time. So I had to buy a thousand baby oils in case I run out. So my dog's skin will stay soft. Or he comes out and he says that he has a very special king that he likes to eat his food with baby oil. I don't know what the fuck he's going to say, but I look forward to it. And I hope that I'm, you know, he's going to give a different answer than what we're all thinking. But anyways, just wanted to update you about this whole situation. Take it easy. I will see you at the next one.